Now we're going to do the laser. Uh, this is a one-person survey instrument. It doesn't take multiple people, so I'll be able to fully demonstrate this. Again, it's got a target bubble just like the auto level, the power level. All leveling devices have some kind of a leveling system that must be done. And we get the target of the bubble in the circle. Then we can turn it on, and it'll spin if it's level. So this is shooting out a beam of light that you can't really see very well. And I'll show you, I'll take it out of level. And we start getting a flashing light next to a symbol that says it's out of level and, and it stops spinning. So this instrument will not shoot or work if it gets too far out of tolerance on level. So then I'll get it back into level. And a little red light will go out and it starts spinning again. So this is probably one of the most widely used instruments on a construction site. Uh, I can't imagine hardly any project that doesn't have uh, a little laser for level work. Uh, the unique thing about uh, this versus the, the rod that we're using, this is called a linker rod. You might notice that the numbers increase as it goes down. So this one is printed backwards for most rods. And the reason why is that this rod does all the math for you. So uh, uh, we can set the tape uh, by unlocking this and pushing the clasp forward. I can move the tape to a known position of elevation. And this upper clamp allows the rod to telescope. And this rod has a total range of about 10 feet. So now the rod will just simply go up and down. And then we have a sensor. And this sensor reads the beam of light. So, the laser's working, and I'm going to come over here to our known elevation, 100.00. I'm going to turn this on, and then I'm going to mute it a little bit so that it's not too noisy. As I move this up and down, if I get a fast beep, that means I need to go down. If I get a slower beep, that means I need to raise it. When I get a steady tone, that's the actual plane that we want to read. So, first thing we do is mount this on a rod, move it up and down. Clamp it on the rod with a steady tone. Next, so this is the position on the rod that's reading that laser. And this bracket, where these two little index pointers are, is where we want to set the tape. So I'm going to move the tape since I've got it unlocked. I'm going to take it down to elevation. 0, 0.00, which is this X. This is either 0 or 10 feet. So, this position right here, the top of the little slope line in the middle of the X is 0 or 10. And then I move this class up or down until I can get the little push pin to go into a grommet. Push it in and then lock it. Now then, we are at zero. I got a solid tone. I've now transferred the elevation of this step to my laser and this rod. Now then, if I want to get some different rod readings, and I want to find out uh, what the elevation of uh, this next step is, I simply put the rod up here. I can now loosen this sensor and move it any place I want on the rod. So I get a steady tone.
And then I read it, and this says 0 0.51 feet. So if this is elevation 100, this is now elevation 100.501. So this means this riser on this step is roughly six inches. If I want another one, I move it up, unlock the sensor, move it down until I get a solid tone. And this is 105. So the elevation is 101.05. So this step is slightly different in a riser than this one by about uh, a little over about, about three eighths of an inch difference or a quarter inch difference. So we can take all these readings and I just need to set the rod at the last three digits. So the nearest foot, tenth, and hundredth is what I transfer. If this happened to be elevation 200, then I would add simply add 200 to my rod reading. So this would be 201.05. If it happened to be elevation 800, I would add uh, this would then be 801.05. So you add the uh, 10 and 100 feet of your TBM or your, your datum to whatever the rod reading is. So this rod reading will give you the nearest foot, tenth, and hundredth, regardless where you're at. Now, since this was at elevation 100, I now want to know what the floor is. So now, I may have a little difficulty with these brackets. I can move the rod up until I get a steady tone. And then I read it. And this is now above the 10. So this is actually 9.42, 9.43, 9 9.43 on the rod. So once I pass the X, into the nines, I'm not going to add 100, I'm going to add 90 feet. Obviously, the floor is lower than this step elevation of 100, so now the floor is 99.43 feet. So I need to subtract 10 feet off of my add to the rod to get the proper elevation. If I'm above my datum, Going up these steps, I would be adding 100 feet to whatever my rod reading is. Since this first step was at 100, now I'm below one of elevation 100. I subtract 10 feet from my add, so I'm only going to add 90 feet to my rod reading because I went above the 10x. That's about it for this instrument.